Good morning, sisters, to Santiago here. This is Anne Marie, and it is September 10th, uh, probably 8 in the morning, and it's Teresa's birthday. Happy birthday, Teresa. As the sign says, open the door and take the bread. And that's what Anne Marie just did. <laughs> Get the pear. Ooh, the circle bread. Oh. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Yum. Oh. I never had so much bread in my life. Wow. Well, happy birthday, Teresa. <laughs> Love you, Teresa. Happy birthday. Good morning. Again. Hey, Amory works here. The I owner. <laughs> the owner said that. The owner, yeah. He said he would hire me to. Greet people. I greeted you. Let you in. The owner said he'd hire me to greet you. Uh, we have 8.82 miles today. It's a small day, and we're uh, we're getting a late start. It's 8:40, but it's kind of nice for once to have a relaxing morning. Buen camino. Buen camino. Buen camino. <sighs> So quickly we, actually this is the second church we passed <laughs> in 10 minutes. Yeah, in 10 minutes, not even. Oh wow, now we're headed down a path huh. with an amazing stone wall on both sides. Hi, I'm holding a chestnut. Fuzzy on the outside, and then if you crack it open, you'll have your chestnut. They're all over Spain. Bye. This is coming up to another washing station, and this is huge. Very pleasant. I wouldn't mind doing my hand wash in there. Maybe it's the baby. It's big enough, and we'll take it back. This is like an Oreo, but one side is for mayo and the other side is for bread. Yes. Some more farm country. Here we go again <laughs> with arrow going one way with the kilometers and then this one with the complementario. Hmm. So we just entered a dense forest. Lots of eucalyptus. You can you can smell it. It's amazing. Zippity doo Zippity a. Coming up to our first stands of the day. A little respite. How oh, wonderful. Hola, buenos dias. We're with <laughs> kind of a little bit of a big group right now in front.
<laughs> hey. So the wonderful thing about walking the Camino is you run into your Camino family all the time, which is fabulous. Yes. <sighs> I think it's the best thing is to connect with people. Yes. And enjoy the trees and the nature. And then you kind of feel connected. I think your connection is start to move uh, start to get more there's an intention in there yes that you find people on your way yes and then you we saw did you see the sign that said live your greatest story isn't oh, that wonderful wow i know that's amazing when can we know when can we know here along the route sometimes people will put fruit out for you beautiful church and it's open how wonderful oh yeah <laughs> okay um you want uh, it's, okay uh the church is called santiago de buente because saint james is our patron here yes. and buente is the neighbor oh, hey, um, this little zoo was founded in the 15th century, but in the early 18th was destroyed in the Napoleonic War and was rebuilt in the 1826. All the wood in this part, the roof and the altar with the image is new. Okay, early 2 century, but new, you know, uh, 1826, yeah. 2 centuries, okay? Yeah. I say I, I say I, I say new because in Europe two centuries was yesterday. Yeah. It's not no, no much time. Okay? And um, something more. Sometimes this church was the final for all the pilgrim routes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I explain. In the last century was the other pandemic, the Spanish flu. Since the Spanish flu, Santiago City was closed. Yeah. by the pandemic. Yeah. So in this case, this was the best place to be the finish. Only for two years, but was here. Mm. This was the final. Wow, yeah? oh, the wow. final stop was here. Yeah. yeah. Because of the wow. Spanish flu in Santiago, the final stop was here. Yeah, Actually. yeah. Wow. The Spanish flu was between January 1918 to June 1921. So, so, so. Um, between the Spanish flu, the final was here. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, do you want to write the date? Si. Mm -hmm. Today you can go in, you can take photos, video, uh, sit down, read the prayer, whatever you want. Because the church is open especially for you. Okay? For the okay. pyramids.
All right. Good stretches. With a overlooking the highway. Woohoo! La. Beautiful. And another two directions to go. But going this way. So I'm not quite sure what this contraption is. It's very interesting. There goes my new Camino friend from Germany. He did the Privativo route and connected up with the Frances and we're all going to Santiago. Hi buddy. Good hunt and great day. Hello. Are you a gentle giant? All right, we're gonna stop after walking three hours to uh, have a snack. Bar Manuel. Yes. And our Camino family. So, hiked for three hours and went seven miles. And this is the lunch, uh, Coke. And this is what an empanada looks like in Spain. This is uh, cheese and bacon. And the only other option for empanada was tuna. One sister here because um, after lunch we kind of had a, a hiccup and you know when you're hiking with somebody a long time probably special especially a family member there comes times that you have to separate um, or you might say something you don't mean and just need that time away and this is the time here and I just want to say that we will be back together again at this the next town which is very soon. Hey, some places have pools. This seems like a really nice place. That's what it's called. And the town is Ribadicio. And it's very quaint. And they even have a river to put your feet in. Arzua, oh, have a big city. Azua, not what I would call a pretty place compared to where we've been, but it's part of the journey, so going Camino. Not sure I'd want a street lamp that close to my window. So here's our place for tonight. Woo, it's a hot one. When you get a gin and tonic or any alcoholic drink, you can ask for as much alcohol in your drink as you want. You just keep going, Coco Mas por favor, and it will give you as much as you want. Probably because they're extremely expensive. Hola! Hola! Susan Pellegrino again. So, uh, if you want salsa, Amory's already told you that you really need to get to bring it with you because if you want all you can get here is ketchup or mayonnaise so it's not much for a salsa so another there was one time that we did get yes salsa. just once mm -hmm. on the entire yeah uh, go to the grocery store and get your own if you can get it at the grocery store i don't know yet we're gonna look <laughs> 
from where we're sitting having a cocktail after walking today. Happy birthday, Teresa! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Teresa! Happy birthday to you! I hope you're having a fabulous day. We just tried calling you, but you weren't available. We'll try again. But just in case, we wanted to send you a birthday wish. And I can't wait to hear about your paddleboard experience. Yes. Yay. Amazing. I love you so much and miss you. And we're thinking about you. Mwah. Mwah. Love you Adios. so much. Adios. Pellegrino here. So, oof, restaurants don't really open till seven o'clock and it's six o'clock and I'm ready for bed. <laughs> so, we will just eat here. And yeah, so the idea is I guess food is just to nourish and not to enjoy. <laughs> Signing off.